I'm going to show you how you take music off of your iPod to be able to enjoy it across other devices. So go grab your laptop, try not to wreck the place and let's get into it. So first off, make a folder on your desktop to copy your music across from your iPod to your laptop. Then connect your iPod and once you do, go to Finder and you'll notice that your iPod will appear twice. One of those is basically iTunes. Now make sure that your iPod does not start to automatically sync, obviously you'll lose all your music. But if you go across to the other iPod that appears on Finder, that is a section we need. But the files that we need are hidden, so press Shift, Command and full stop. And then da-da, more files appear, as if by magic. So if you click on the file that says iPod Control, and then click on the one that says Music, these are all the files that we need. So highlight them all and click copy and then paste them into the file that we made on the desktop. And once that has completed, that's it. You've copied your music from your iPod to your laptop. But as you can see, they're all messed up because Apple does not like to make things easy. So what you need to do is open up iTunes or Apple Music as it's known nowadays. Go to file and then click import. Once the import window appears, go over to your desktop and then click on the file we made earlier. As you can see, the files are hidden again, so press Shift, Command, full stop, and then click on the first file that appears, click Command A, that highlights everything, and then click Import. You will need to do this for all the files that have come off your iPod. So what I do is I change the color of a file once I've imported it, so I know what I've got up to, and I hope you found this useful.